to my channel now i'm starting this one a little bit different to the rest it's currently 6 a.m in the morning we are heading off to malta and i'm taking you guys along with us it's my first ever time and it's my first ever time going away with harrison's family without any of my family so i thought i'd pick up the camera and just bring you guys along with us so i hope you enjoy this vlog i'm gonna vlog as much as i can I hope you guys really enjoy this video if you do make sure to leave a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already you know the drill we're on the road to 80k follow me over on the social medias i'll pop those on the screen now there's gonna be so much on there as well so i can't wait for you guys to see that so go and catch up if you haven't on them yeah, that is the video i really do hope you enjoy and let's head in to this video it is literally like 10 to 6 um just got up our flight's not till 11 so it's not too bad um but i stayed at harrison's last night so this morning obviously i was here ready um so i need to start getting ready soon we're leaving at half past seven um so i've got about like an hour and a half so i've given myself a lot of time so i probably sound so weird in the mornings i'm gonna watch this back and be like oh my god <laughs> but i literally want to tell you i've literally just opened my eyes i opened my eyes literally not long ago and then down here is my makeup bag that i need to use this morning and then pack that that's my toiletry bag that i need to use this morning then pack that and then that's my hand luggage bag with all of my electronics yeah i washed my hair last night so it feels really nice and soft i know when i watch this back my voice is gonna be awful and i'm gonna be like why do i sound like that um, we're going to Gatwick as well. I haven't been to Gatwick in ages. I feel like I keep going to like Stansted. I haven't been to Gatwick in ages. But I'm gonna go and do my makeup now. So I'm ready. <laughs> So let's give you a proper tour. So this is like the outside bit. Harrison's mum and dad are below us. So this is me, Harrison, his sister and his uncle staying in the top floor. I want to drop my camera there, they're there. And we're up here and then down here you've got like loads of little like cafes, restaurants. Then you've also got the beach right there. So this is the sofa area and like the living bit here. This is our kitchen area. Yeah, this is the living bit and then you come out and the balcony bit out there when you step foot over there so these are the stairs that you come up onto our bit here's harrison's sister you've probably never met her before not met her you've probably never seen lady before that's harrison's sister um so this is their bathroom in here and then this is their room they're currently waiting for a mattress because layla's and her uncle are sleeping in here but their mattress isn't here right now but they've got a really pretty view of the beach and then come into mine and Harrison's room and then we've got the aircon right there which is perfect and then this is our room it's absolutely huge this is our ensuite looks like this and then there's me and then there's another mirror here with like this little area and then you're back out to the kitchen the living 
and Harrison out here on the balcony. Yeah, Harrison's parents, we're really lucky, paid for the holiday for us for Christmas. So we're very lucky to be here right now. Look at Harrison's tattoo, guys. It's all to do with mortar. I don't know if any of you ever knew this, but um, anyone knows now? So he's got like a sun here. This is called the what, sorry? Monster Dome. Monster Dome. And then he's got his angels and he runs in the family that Harrison's nan's great, no, sorry, Harrison's nan's mum's lucky number was 121. My great um, nan. Your great nan, yeah. Well, my family's lucky number. Oh, yeah, right. family's lucky and number. And then we sat down in Weatherspoons, right? Yeah. Sat down in Weatherspoons, bear in mind. Oh, our table number. <laughs> sat down on the table number. 121. One, two, one. One. And, I, and I screenshot it on the plane. And we took off. 121. 12, 12, 11 past 12. One, two, yeah. One. Unfortunately, Harrison's great nan's not here anymore, but she keeps showing us signs, doesn't she, everywhere. I'm excited, but I guess I'll update you guys now. I reckon we'll yeah, we're going to get some food. Shop. That's the little shop, guys, literally here. Um, I'm a bit scared to go over the edge. I feel a bit nervous. Um, we're going to go over there and get some food for like the apartment, which is so exciting. I feel like we've moved out. <laughs> but I always say, guys, as I do... Oh, am I moving in? Huh? I wouldn't mind moving in. I know, it's so nice. First impressions, I'm so excited. Like, I really am. It's nice to try different holidays. I feel like I'm just used to, like, all-inclusives. But, guys, I'll update you when we go for food. Guys, just quickly, yeah, well, I didn't even uh, realise we have a walk-in wardrobe. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. I literally have a walk-in wardrobe. This couldn't... I couldn't be in my element more. Look how much room I have. I could put my bags here, my shoes, clothes. Oh, oh my God. I'm so excited right now. We are in our bikinis and Harrison trucks because we are heading down to the beach to get the last bit of sun for today. You guys can't really see me. There we go. I've got a little cover up on from sheep. Harrison, they remind me of Lanzarote. <laughs> These scooters that we had in Lanzarote, they were so much fun. Oh look, we can see we're up there, guys. This is Harrison's mum, guys. Teresa, say hello. <laughs> This is Grandad hello. and Andrew. This is Uncle Andrew <laughs> going around saying hi to everyone. Just having a little walk over. Harrison's up there with his dad and his nan. But we're going to walk over to the beach. It's so hot today. We've, it's literally like five o'clock here, but we're still coming out for some sun because it is so hot. I so needed a holiday. I didn't realise how much I love being on holiday until I get here. So nice. So nice. And I can't wait to eat loads of food because that's the best thing to do on holiday, right? Just eat loads of food. Walking on the beach. It's not actually too hot, the sand. You know when like on abroad, it's really hot to walk on. It's actually really, really all right. Dave, do you want to say hello to the video? I've got everyone else on but you at the hello, minute. <laughs> this is Harrison's dad. Then you haven't met Harrison's nan yet. She's up there. Just going to find a spot on the beach. Apparently it's freezing, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> Harrison's getting in. Harrison's nan's all the way over there. She's got straight in. Is it cold? Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, look at them. Oh, I might get in, guys. I might, I might just. Oh! oh. <laughs> Got it on camera. Food has arrived for dinner. Layla, what did you go for? Burger. Get Burger. the protein in. <laughs> First holiday at Spaghetti Bolognese. Brandon, if you're watching this, I know you're jealous. Harrison went for Spike Bar as well. And then the chips. Yeah, he's having a bit of a chill night tonight. It's really nice. And it's still nice and warm. So, yeah, we're going to tuck in and I'll let you know how the Spike Bar is. So, we have just come back up from having some yummy dinner. And the Spike Bowl that I showed you guys was one of the nicest Spike Bowls I've ever had. And why is it so much better when you're on holiday spag bowl it tasted incredible so while we was out having dinner and um, one of harrison's nan's friends that lives out in malta and um, came and saw us and there's like a festival on tonight i'm not sure what the name is harrison will be better at these things than me with pronunciations and things and um, but there's a festival festival on tonight that got rescheduled from last week because of the weather till tonight so we've literally all just chucked on some clothes and we're gonna go all down there together it's really pretty out there tonight when it's all lit up and we literally was down there for dinner so all really close so i'm taking my clutch bag out tonight and then i've got this dress on from zara and then i've just got like my jewelry on really i'm hoping to get a tan tomorrow fingers crossed um but yeah got my little clutch bag and i don't know what the best way let me show you the outfit like this that's a better representation of the little black dress and then sandals are also Zara. These these really pretty like brown ones. They're really nice. We're heading out in a taxi now. So I'm going to take you guys along with us and just show you as much as I can. I really don't know what to expect. So I'm excited. We're going to head out in the taxi now. 
Um, I can't get over how beautiful it looks out there tonight. But we're gonna head out now, and yeah, I'll film when we're out. We have arrived. Look how beautiful it looks. Oh my god, this is so interesting. I've never seen anything like this before. a little bit less busy oh my goodness <laughs> explain to everyone what that noise it's is a, it's just a firework. it's so loud but there's no firework it's just bangs it's just part of the they set cannons or something yeah it's like the cannons i think they've set one no, off because no, no, look at the streets the floor, really? actually guys the statue that was going around is literally on harrison's arm so <laughs> pretty crazy and how did you get that idea she, so my nan used to live here and she was named after it so harrison got it tattooed on him it's so cute it's like this little village where harrison's family used to live <laughs> there's some more little stalls you've got a sweet shop got some candy floss and popcorn it's just crazy to see like this is what maltese people do there was like people having picnics all outside of their houses down this village. It's just, it's just a whole different world to what we're used to. It's crazy. Oh yes, I love candy floss. Wow, thank you. Wow, we have made it even further down these little streets. It's just so beautiful. I literally just, I'm a bit shocked really. I just never expected this. And this is the church. Wow. Gym attire. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, it's the mirror. Sheen leggings, Nike bra. I say Nike. Well, I've never say Nike. Nike. Um, I don't know. I tell you, but my phone case was wrong. But yeah, trust us to actually find a gym. But yeah, I've got this one. It's actually really hot outside already, and it's only 8 a.m. So, I think tomorrow I might wear shorts to the gym. But for today, we're gonna go leggings. I feel a bit tired this morning. We got back quite late though. We got a thing. We got back. We probably went to bed at one. Yeah. It's actually 7 a.m. right now. Yeah, we're all right though. Not much going on all the time down here. But yeah, that's the food store. We're gonna head there now, go and get some breakfast and then walk over there to the gym. We found the gym. Literally a two minute walk from where, where we're staying. But yeah, we found the gym. So we're gonna go and see what it's like down these steps. Got my new trainers on, whoa. Got my new little trainers on. This gym is actually pretty good. I'm just filming while there's no music quickly. It's actually a massive gym. There's like loads. So we're gonna do a leg day today, aren't we, Layla? Yes. We're gonna start off with some like, squats. But yeah, there's so much, literally everywhere. But it was six euros, bargain. 20 euros for the week, but we might have a couple of days where we don't come. So I'm gonna time lapse our workout so we don't get copyright for the music.
much we're sweating right now. Smashed 150 on leg press. Smashed it. Eight reps. We've got to go and do some step ups on the Smith machine. But sweating. I've just done 150 leg press. It was way heavier than England. Way heavier. I don't know why, but it does. But moving on to some step ups now. But after this, go home, have a shower, and then we're going to Valletta for the day. So. I'll get back to you guys when I'm ready for the day and I don't look like this. We are just stopping off at this place on the way back from the gym. Gym was good, we're sweating. Look how nice it is in here. Oh look. Change the way people think about food. Oh my god, look at that. Should we take it over there? It looks so nice. <laughs> don't drop it. Look at this guys. I got like this berry like smoothie. Layla went for like one of these bowls, but I'm really fussy. I don't really like nuts. But you probably nuts. Yeah, you'll probably be able to like pick around them. But like, a, it's got like it's like a protein shake, but with like berries and all that stuff. <laughs> Drink these now, and then I'm not sure if we're like gonna sunbathe or we're going to Valletta today. We're not too sure. I'll give you guys a <laughs> taste test. Is it not? That is unreal. Mmm. I'm gonna go and finish this and then we're gonna get ready for the day. Where are we going? We're, we're going, going to Valletta. Valletta. I'm and waiting for our going. taxi to it's take really us into bright, Valletta. But our outfits are Lena Duff. Our outfits, we've got a Zara little Harrison. I've got a little like knot dress on with my bag, sunny glasses. Got a Zara top on with me, Arnie's, and me Adidas. Yeah, that's what we've got on, so... We've leave in, we've leave in, little guys. Dad's got his travel bag on. <laughs> Give us a spin. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> we've just got to Valletta. We're at the top of the minute. I'll show you some more as we get in. We're in a little garden area. So We're about to look over one of the best views. <laughs> yeah. Look at this view. Oh my goodness, so pretty. It's actually stunning. That is stunning. The boys are all getting a photo because the view is just literally beautiful. But we're all just getting some photos here. Me and Harris are going to get one there. So we're just having a little walk around and some shops there's a next there oh hugo opening soon loads of like little cafe shops even though i think they're closed actually what is that and then we've got just like a row of shops so we're gonna go and do some shopping and explore a little bit more why hello there we've got a little toy shop oh look there's another one <laughs> we're on the main strip of Valletta. I can see it. Should we go? Should we go see if there's any weird Maltese McDonald's, McDonald's yeah, shall items? We? Let's see. And then the, we can uh... try it if it's weird. Shall we do that? Right. So what items do we have then? Chicken box, chicken strips, hot wings. We are getting trans trans chanterelle coins, strawberry and cream cheese pie, pineapple stick. Like my combos. One main, one side. Go like chicken. So you've got junior chicken, chicken mayo, milk chicken, crispy bacon, big tasty chicken bacon. I don't know if there's any dips that are different to the UK. Curry Chili sauce. lemon, curry sauce, curry sauce. Hot, devil. hot devil. Yeah, there's different. Oh, extra croutons, olive oil, Caesar dressing. What? Let's just go in. We're going to try some guys and then we'll update oh, you once we've. Fries. Steakhouse fries. They just look a bit more posher than them ones. Right, let's just grab some guys and then we'll try it on camera. Right, we've ordered some food. So we've got. Oh. Are they nice? Like, uh, Potato wedges? Wedding. They look like wedges. So mm. we've gone for these like special fries. Got some nuggets. Oh no, nuggets. There, sorry. Two of the new burgers I'm going to try. Harrison got a McChicken sandwich. Let me try this on camera. Did you like the chips? Yeah. They're well nice. Mm. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. Hash brown at the bottom, burger, ranch, bacon, and cheese. 
put a bit of Mimi Webb in the background in Malta. That is so good. I'm gonna actually have a little bit of this and then I'm gonna try the next burger on camera as well. So this one that I've just been into is a little bit different. I can't really see, but it's like ranch again, but with onions rather than like bacon, the cheese. Right. B with a ranch, oh, with a ranch sauce. It's actually so good. Oil. Music's really loud. They do curry sauce. Unreal. That's, that's all that we got. So we're gonna finish these. Did they so do, good. Did, and then, did they do the ranch in a dip? No. Oh, I, mean, I don't think. But these are my favourite. Oh, I know. So I need to get that. Harrison doesn't like onions. But oh. we're gonna go finish this because that's all we got. And we're gonna go and do some more walking. So, we have come to get some ice cream. Please. Tub, yeah? Tub, thank you. I don't know why, sometimes I prefer a tub. Oh, look how nice that looks. Yummy. Taste test. That is really nice. Whenever the ice cream man comes around the house, always get bubble gum. That is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. It's like five o'clock and it's still really hot. We're only going to spend a little bit longer, and I've got something to show you guys when we get back home. Harrison Seven just surprised. And a half thousand steps. Harrison just surprised me with something, so I'm going to show you guys when we get home. No, Ooh. no, that stone underneath. Oh my god, I feel like I'm going to fall through. That's the original stone. Wow. So interesting. I've learned so much while being away here. I love it. But yeah, we're going out for some dinner tonight, but I'll update you guys when we get home so I can show you what Harrison surprised me with. So we have just got home and don't know if you can notice anything different. Harrison surprised me and he bought me my first ever Maltese cross. I mean, it's literally stunning. And it's like real gold, so I can just wear it every single day and it won't like tarnish and I'm so grateful. But yeah, no, we literally was in the shop and he was like, I'm gonna get this for you. And I was like, oh my God. I'm not gonna take my camera with me tonight because we're just getting the house in general. I think we're gonna have an early night. So I'll pick up the camera. I think the next time I pick up the camera, we're gonna do the blue lagoon or like the blue grotto. Harrison's here, just showing them my necklace you bought me. Oh yes. Literally love it. I'm gonna pick up the camera when we head to the Blue Lagoon or the Grotto so I can show you guys. I was gonna say good morning. Harrison's just had a shower. So I said I would pick up the camera when we are next up to something and last minute we are doing the Blue Grotto. It always goes really dark when I vlog here, it's so annoying. It's 9 a.m. The best time to go is between 10 and 11 a.m. Apparently. So I've got on some comfy shorts, vest, my flippy flops and of course my new flippy necklace. Flippy flopping right now. But I thought I'd bring you guys along with us because it's gonna be an exciting day and I'm excited to do it. This is what I've been waiting to do. I just know like when you go to Malta, it's like the blue lagoon, the blue grotto, like you have to do, it's like a must do kind of thing. Um, and last night my tripod broke inside of my camera. I'm trying to show you but it's like snapped inside my camera so that's great. So, so I don't have a tripod now but it doesn't matter. I can just use my hands. Yeah, we're heading out, so I'm going to show you what we're up to. Show you all the views. I'm so excited, and it's so hot already out there, and it's just... What is the temperature today? I'm not sure. Have a little look for us. But I've got no makeup on either. I just popped some SPF on my face. Have you got sun cream on? Yeah, I just popped some SPF on my face, and I'll take our little travel sun cream for when we get there. So, we're going to hop off now, get a taxi. And then we are gonna go to the Blue Grotto. I'm so excited, but yeah, I'll um, show you guys when we get there.
few days later from when I left you guys off when we was at the Blue Grotto. I apologise for being the worst vlogger in that sense that I didn't update you guys beforehand, but it's literally a few days later from the last clip that you guys saw. Today we are going to the Blue Lagoon and I'm so excited. The last clip I showed you was at the Blue Grotto for the day. That was amazing. Like the water was just so blue. Like the views were just insane. And then I was saying to Harrison, I was like, I'd seen it everywhere. He was telling me to go to Blue Lagoon. And I was like, is it really good? Started watching TikToks on it. And I was like, I need to find how to get there because we're like the opposite end of the Blue Lagoon. So I was doing my little researches on TikTok and I found a company called Sun Fun Malta. So we're actually getting picked up at half past 10. It's 8 15 right now um so we've got we've got to get a taxi to this like beach resort and then we're going to get a half an hour speedboat straight over to the blue lagoon and then we stay there for like three hours and then they pick us back up again but yeah we're going to head out and get a taxi at about half past nine um because we've got to be there at half well we're leaving at half past ten so we need to be there really at like 10 so we're not late but this is my little cover-up for the blue lagoon so i've just got on this cover up from perry shan which is like the in the style collection and then i've got this zara bikini on so it looks like this i don't know whether to take my beach bag or not it would look quite pretty actually let's chuck that in the bag i'm like a very organized I feel like a mum i've literally packed my whole bag this morning my hat spare batteries for filming i'm gonna pop my bag in there somewhere because i really want to take that and batteries hat i mean i know you guys have seen this view already but look how beautiful the weather is today as well so we've literally for the last few days i haven't really vlogged we've just been like sat on the beach all day it's been really really lovely the fresh fruit vans down there this morning there's a fresh fruit van every morning that pulls up here um which is really nice we had some strawberries they were unbelievable what an amazing day to go to blue lagoon Go and get our last bits all packed and ready and then I'll update you guys when we get into the taxi. After a lot of stress and confusion on the booking to get here, we thought we needed to be here at half nine, but it was a mistake on the website, they meant to put half ten. So we don't go on the boat till half ten, but we're here. Stress is over and we're just relaxing now until the speedboat picks us up. But like jet skis, look how clear that is over there and we're not even at the Blue Lagoon yet. Yeah, we're setting off about like quarter past 10, half past 10, and then they pick us up, we've got it wrong. They pick us up at half past four, so we've got a full day there. Um, and then we come back, and, yeah. So I'm gonna try and film on the speed, but I don't know how fast it's gonna be. I'm feeling it's gonna be really quite fast, so I don't know if I'm gonna to get my camera out. I've got to take my hat off, because my hat will go flying. Harrison's eating his grenade bar. We're all ready to go. Just gotta wait about half an hour. But I'm not complaining in the sun. It's, Nice. We're literally all just sat here, me and Harrison and then Layla over there. Our bags are all secured. And I don't actually think I'm going to be able to vlog. But this is our boat. This is our boat. We had a really nice guy to speak to over there as well. Yeah, someone that works here, really, really he said, lovely. He said he's going to take us back in his boat later and we're going to go like this. <laughs> we're all sat and ready. Ready to go. just arrived i can't tell you how blue it is you can't really see here but up there you can see it look it's literally incredible but we're just about to hop off out that is so blue oh my goodness but it's so busy we're just gonna find like, a bit of rock and just put a towel down we think just have some food and drink so this is like a little uh, drinks station they do like loads of cocktails let me show you in like these pineapples got all of these ones to choose from oh my goodness does it feel real it literally looks incredible so i don't know how but we have managed to get three sun beds with an umbrella at the very very front so this is our view from the bit where we're sat so we've got three little sun beds on all along this bit and then we're at the front. Literally, oh my god, look at my hair from going on the boat. Oh my god. I literally just still can't believe how blue it is, but then we're going to get some drinks, get some food, and then all we have to do is step down here, and then we're going to go for a little swim. 
I've just grabbed a tequila sunrise in a pineapple. I've actually drunk quite a lot of it, there's not much left, but we are so happy just sitting here all day with our cocktails in front of the Blue Lagoon. But we're now just going to do some sunbathing, just got some photos. I'm going to sit and enjoy my pineapple. And it's four euros to get this refilled every time you want a new drink, which I don't think is too bad. Surprisingly, even though there's loads of people, this bit here where we are is obviously not got that many people. Whereas if you, the further you go down, there's so many people. I'm on to drink number two. This is a Sex on the Beach. So I had a tequila sunrise before, that was lovely. And then the refill price was five euros. We've just been in the water for a little bit, so now we're drying off because we get picked up in an hour. Look how busy it is to our right, and then look here, there's like no one here. We're literally just on this little row of sunbeds, which is so nice. And then people all sunbathe up the top there as well on the rocks. Had a good time? Harrison had something to eat and so did Layla. It looked really nice actually, I forgot to film that. Silly me. It was like a chicken burger. I'll insert a photo actually because I took a photo of it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But we're just sunbathing to get dry before we head back on that speedboat. Oh my god, that speedboat was funny, wasn't it? It was funny and it was so fast and bumpy. Last time we went on a boat, it was in Spain. Me and you were like really young, going and dolphin so watching. And was I you ill? Up, grew up, I missed the dolphin. Oh no. I was like 10. I don't know if you guys can really see inside, but it's literally like the whole pineapple is filled up with the drink. It's so good. Safety first, guys. Always wear your sun cream. Yeah, Harrison's gonna, shoulders. yeah, shoulders, shoulders are quite bad for burntness. Burntness, is that what thing? I went in the water for a little bit about 20 minutes ago. My hair's dried already, that's how hot it is. Can't really see. But yeah, my hair's dried already. Look how many people there are up there. This is how we get down. So all we have to do is go down here where there's steps over there, which are so busy to get into the Blue Lagoon. But we could just step down. It's so nice having the beds here. Oh, there he goes. Let me zoom in on him. Cold? <laughs> Let's zoom in on him. Where is he? Are you going to go underwater? No, he doesn't want to go underwater. You see the fishes? There's some fishes in here. I can't see them. We can't see anything. Oh, actually, is there some there? I can't actually see any. I can be your hero. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. I'll insert some clips that I took from my phone of being at the Blue Lagoon now. And then we're gonna head home on the speedboat. So we're just leaving, but I thought I'd film. If any of you guys are looking to come to Blue Lagoon, there is so many food options as well here. We don't really know what to expect, if there was gonna be food or not, but there's so many places all around here with like food, drinks, snacks, ice cream. Look how busy it is this end. We were like all the way around there. And look how busy it is here. And there's also lockers if anyone needs any lockers if you're here. Um, and then there's public toilets up here. We're going to go there before we get back on the boat. Loads of activities that you can do while you're here. There's so much to do. Jet skis. We've arrived at the caves. It's probably so loud guys because we're at the back. We've arrived at some of the caves. I'm assuming he's gonna take us like around around there somewhere. It looks a little bit like the blue grotto that we went to to be fair. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Have a little look and then we're heading back that way all the way over there. We're in another cave. Oh my god. Pretty cool guys. That's just where we were in that cave. Oh, someone's going in. But now we're heading back. Seeing the cave is all part of the tour, which is pretty cool. But now we are heading back. And just like that, we are on the way home. It's been the most amazing week ever. Like I literally loved water so much. It was literally amazing and I came home with something so amazing. I don't know if you guys can see it, there it is. From Harrison, thank you. Yeah, we got up at 5 a.m. Um, for our flight. It's currently 8 a.m. We fly at 8.40. Um, but yeah, we had a really early morning, so we're knackered, but hopefully we'll get some hours back on the plane. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's gonna be a long one. I haven't edited this back yet as I'm saying this, but I know it's gonna be a long one, but it's gonna be a good one. 
Um, but yeah, thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed all the holiday content. Um, and I guess I'll see you next Tuesday, 6 p.m. for a brand new video. Goodbye. Goodbye.